not karaoke, I won't sing. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. All right, over the past couple of weeks, uh, Sean Giggy has been visiting towns in Texas that have some pretty bizarre names, trying to figure out how on earth they actually came up with those names. But Sean says what you are about to see might be the very best story he has ever done. It's a big statement. Here's today's Giggy Bites. Where did Nemo, Texas come from? That was before or after finding Nemo. Where do you think they came up with the name Ding Dong, Texas? Maybe there's a lot of dumb people. <laughs> Every day we pass through places with weird names without even noticing. Zipperlandville. That's real. But did you ever wonder where those names came from? I don't know what they were thinking at all. Their origins reveal an interesting piece of Texas history. And 15 minutes east of San Angelo is a town with perhaps the most bizarre story of all. This is very best. The name very best is exactly how it sounds. Very best. But where did it come from? Well, there's another small town about an hour or so down the road here. Whoa, named best. I think we know where this is going. Best, very best. Makes sense, right? But no. Very best? Well, some people say it was named after a jar of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. For an explanation, we've got to go back about a hundred years. The people here originally wanted to name their town Mullins after one of its first settlers, Isaac Mullins. But there was already a city in Texas named Mullen. Therefore, we couldn't have Mullen and Mullins in Texas, and there was a contest. The contest was to see who could come up with a name that wasn't already taken. And one young woman found inspiration here at the old general store. Back then, Armor and Company produced a brand of canned foods called Very Best. Now, this is where some accounts differ, because there was also a company called Norman's Very Best Bread. And it was in this store that that young woman either saw a loaf of bread or mayonnaise or something with the very best name and figured no other town in Texas had that name. From the moment I first saw you. She was right. And we may never know definitively if it was Norman's very best bread. It could also be suggested that it was for Armour's very best brands. It's almost free marketing for them. Absolutely. Gr yeah. Great advertising. Whatever her inspiration, one thing is true. The very best name was plucked straight from the grocery store shelves. As weird as that sounds, let's be honest. There are a lot of towns out there with boring names. So it's kind of refreshing to find a place like this with a name so good, you can just eat it up. Mm. 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 Good man. Mm. Even though I know that has to be yogurt, it still grosses it me It makes out. me want to I'm, gag. I'm sorry I didn't bring any mayonnaise. No, yeah. don't be sorry. Listen, we don't be sorry dirt, at all. drank dirt water last week. We're good. <laughs> it's kind of surprising how some of these get their names, though, and then you wonder, like, what happened to this town. Like, it looks like it went the way of that yeah. brand of mayonnaise. Well, very oh. best, believe it or not. <laughs> kinda... Very best, believe it or not, was probably one of the bigger towns we've we've been to there's oh. actually a school district there as you saw at the beginning mm -hmm. the very best mm. isd sign so there's actually people there on like places like bug tussle and some yeah. of those that we've done but so nothing up the road story. like a most very best just no just best? the best the very best <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting on that or a taco bell texas or something <laughs> you know, we just need to that's right, next that, time yes that was fun again and there are clearly so many places you can yeah. still visit send them in if you got more new road trips yeah. coming thanks, thanks sean, sean. Thank you.